Hi guys, and uh, well, welcome back to my cave. Um, new project that we've just started, uh, uh, Yamaha DT400B, uh, 1975. It's a US model. Um, the so rare in the UK, you know, it'd be easy to find uh, unicorn poop. Uh, but I've been wanting to do a DT for a long time, so we've uh, we bought this from uh, a UK dealer, obviously the guy who imports them uh, from the US. Paid quite a lot of money for it, um, but that's the nature of, you know, if, if you want to do a DT400, that's kind of what you've got to do. The bike seems straight. Um, it's 95% there. There's some ancillary parts missing, things like um, rear light indicators, things like that. But fundamentally the bike's all there, um, so that means we can look at refurbishing parts uh, wherever we can, reusing original parts. Um, we are going to have to source some parts. Now we need a new speedometer, in fact we're going to have to import one, a uh, used one from, from the, from the uh, US. Also for this type of restoration we're happy to use uh, replica parts. The bike isn't intended to be a concourse, um, and again, do anybody think that I'm criticising or, or having a go at the concourse lads? They're brilliant at what they do. It's just that we're looking to build a very high-end rider bike that's going to be um, people are going to be able to use. Hence, why we don't mind using replica parts. We've also uh, so we've already put a, a replica ignition on there. And I've also bought some replica, um, I suppose ancillary parts we'd have to call them, like rubber mounts for the speedometer and tachometer, and also for the rear light unit, um, of which we've actually put one on back order, again a pattern one that's coming from, from the US. As with other projects that you've seen us do, we, we, we're putting together a series of videos, so we've um, had a lot of a good feedback on those videos, so for that, thanks for that guys. Um, not being narcissistic, we just like to sort of uh, share the love a little bit um, when we do the videos and at some point in the future if we sell the bikes, a bit like we just sold the GT250, people can look in and, and see that it's been done correctly. There's a definite um, strategy uh, to this project um, and we see it in two principal parts. Um, first part is to recommission the bike, get it running, um, <laughs> get it stopping. Uh, and get it legal for the UK. We can then look at registering the bike and getting the UK registration on the bike. We are going to go for an MOT. I think legally we actually don't need it for a bike this age, but we like to just so we've got a, you know, a third party looking in on the work we've done in case we've, we've missed something, um, missed something you know, in, in, in the heat of the moment. Um, we haven't done so far and everything we've done tends to pass the MOT with, with, with flying colours, so, um, but that's the rationale behind us actually getting an MOT on the bikes as we well. We were thinking of one time, perhaps, uh, once we've got recommissioned and we're going to make a decision whether we sell at the recommission stage or we, then we go ahead with a full restoration. We have been looking in on um, debt trackers and there was talk of us building this 400 into a, a, a sort of vintage classic a street tracker, but we'll see about that. I, I think really we're going, we will be going down the restoration route. But let's see what happens with that one. Again, have a look in on the videos, guys. Please make the comments that you want to. Um, if someone's going to make any dickhead comments, don't don't waste your time. We, we don't take any notice of it. Certainly don't wind us up. Uh, you're just making fools of yourselves, really. We really, really do not care. So. Thanks for watching uh, this introductory section. Again, at the end of the video, you should be able to find the links to uh, the videos we've, we've done so far of the restoration or, or, or key parts of the um, refurbishment, I should say, really, and the recommission. Um, well, as I say, thanks for watching, guys, and, uh, well, bye for now. So, uh, this is the bike, or money pit, as I like to also call it. It seems pretty straight. It's 95% 95 complete, I guess. Um, it seems fairly straight. Um, ancillary parts, some ancillary parts are missing, sort of rear light indicators, things like that. But they're the things we can start to sort out because the, the the loom does look intact. 
correct. Um, as I mentioned, it seems, seems all to be there. There's no, there's no, doesn't appear to be any major problems at the moment. Obviously, we're going to come across some some issues. It's a 40 year old uh, enduro bike, and again, that's obviously the nature of a project, and that's why we, you know, we we like to do these projects because we work through the issues and we fix them and things bring back to life. We're going to make a series of um, videos as well, so please. Please have a look in on those videos. We're going to look at refurbing the carb and, and, and various bits like we've done in, in, in the restoration videos before. But uh, please have a look in and bye for now.